Hello everybody, it is me. It is currently about half eleven on Sunday the 24th of April 2022. I'm currently reading Moon by James Herbert. It's pretty good, it's like a 3.5 out of 5. Feeling kind of down at the moment to be honest, so I hopefully go to bed soon and feel better tomorrow. Although I should eat, I'm not really eating anything and my stomach is not happy with me. Oh dear. Dane reads. Hello, it is me. It is currently quarter past nine on the morning of Monday the 25th of April 2022. I got a little bit of sleep last night, like four hours or something. Mental health is doing a little bit better today. I mean, we'll see how it goes later on, to be fair. Um, I got two calls today as well, so that's gonna take up some time, but it should be all right. I'm still reading Moon by James Herbert. Very nearly finished that now, and it is rather good. I'm enjoying it. I might read Once next, or I have Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King, which I'm tempted by just because it's quite a small, sort of shortish book. Um, so I might go for that, because I'm back on now. Let's have a look. My currently reading, I'm over 10 because um, I got a job lot of Stephen King and a job lot of Sophie Hannah. I think I'm on like 13 currently reading. So um, that's all right. I've got another June book coming soon. Let's have a look. 12 currently reading. Um, yeah, I've got another June book coming soon. And I might buy some Alan Bennett because basically I need to set up or queue up my next bedtime read. Um, and Alan Bennett has some classic bedtime reads because a, a lot of his books are just like his diaries basically So I think I might just go through Start buying the unread, uh, you know, the Alan Bennett books that are on my list that I want to get to and um, Yeah, I think that might be my plan. So we'll see. I'm currently um, Just cracking on with work and stuff. I think that's all I got for you really I'm gonna try and do a little bit of filming this morning to um, try and catch up with, with my old to-do list. So yeah Yo, it is 20 to 3 on the afternoon of Tuesday the 26th of April 2022. Uh, hopefully got a plumber coming around later to have a look at my bathroom, so that should be good. I've done most of my jobs and my housework today. Went out in, earlier in the garden and, and mowed the lawn, so I did that. I went into town to go to the post office and then the bank and there was a, a new place there that does, uh, it's a vegan Italian food stall. So I got some food from there, which was good. I got a call at 3, then another at 7, then another at 9, then another at 11. Um, but I got up at like half 8 this morning, so I don't know if I'm going to be awake enough for the 11 one. Luckily I can reschedule that, so we will see. Um, I'm reading Once by James Herbert, I'm still reading that, it's, it's just okay. There's not a huge amount for me to say about it, to be honest. Um, I've been catching up on my YouTube subscriptions, I finally got to the point where, because you can only have up to 5,000 videos in your watch later list. And because I was watching Gab Smolders play Elden Ring, and they were like three hours long each episode, basically my watch later playlist filled up, and I was super behind on my uh, subscriptions. I finally managed to get everything on there now, so it's just a case of watching back through that, basically. Um, but at least everything is now on there. I've also been watching a playthrough of the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, so that's been pretty cool. I'm cracking on with that. I've been listening to some vinyl earlier as well. Got my radio show out later today, which will be with Jana S. Brown, who is, well, she writes in a, three different genres and three different pen names. She's also um, one of the coaches at this client that I have. So actually one of my calls later on is going to be with her for a team meeting. I think that's all I've got for you, really. I'm just being productive, as I say. I've actually done pretty much all of my housework now. Um, I think I have like two or three jobs left on it that I can do. Although I'm super behind because I do like some daily exercise and I'm super behind on all of that because basically I fell behind loads when I moved into this place. So now I'm sort of catching up, um, doing it a bit at a time. So for example, I currently owe about five and a half thousand squats, over 10,000 press ups, and then 15 hours of jogging. So I owe all of those, which obviously I'm not going to be able to do in a single day, but I can slowly but surely try and catch up with it all. So that's the plan there. Um, at least when I jog, I listen to my audiobooks as well and also do a bit of Duolingo. So could be worse. Oh, and I'm going to have a shower in a bit and there's a cat sitting on my clothes down there. So yeah, just gearing up for this call in a little bit, really. Yeah. Oh, hello. It is um, 20 past 10 on Wednesday the 27th of uh, April 
Oh, I'm a little bit stressed. Um, one of my clients has said that I need to basically make a present, make, shoot, and edit a presentation in time for Monday, um, which normally wouldn't be a problem. But I'm like drowning in work at the moment. I have 18 active jobs on at the moment, so I'm like hopping from one to another. So I don't know how I'm going to get this done. Also, I was going to take Sunday off because there's a music festival here in Wickham. Um, so I was going to see if Sabrina wanted to come round now that my, because my plumbing has fixed itself. Um, but I might not be able to do that now because I might have to work all weekend. Which would be a shame because this thing only happens once a year. And a lot of my friends' bands and stuff are playing. So I don't know. The alternative is if she comes round and she's pottering about in the garden and I'm just sitting there on my laptop. But I don't really want to do that. Uh, then Monday it's a bank holiday, which is a public holiday here in the UK, although I'll be working through that. And then Tuesday to Thursday I'm going to be in Tamworth at my mum's house, because um, I've got to go to my, my granddad's funeral because he passed away a few weeks ago, unfortunately. So it's just all very stressful. Um, also I've had a big tax bill through, so that's fucking expensive. The guy next door, uh, I think we're finally getting the fences done, but that's going to be about 400 quid as well. So I'm just, I'm so skint, mate. I've got no money. I've got no money, and yet I'm constantly working. It sucks. Um, but yes, I'm currently reading Once by James Herbert. I'm about two-thirds of the way through now. It's not particularly good, to be honest. Next up, I think I'm going to read A Game for All the Family by uh, Sophie Hannah. We will see. I also have the next June book to read and a couple of Stephen Kings. So I've got four Sophie Hannahs. Two Stephen Kings, and then June. Um, hence me picking up the Sophie Hannah next, because I figure I'll do Sophie Hannah, someone else, Sophie Hannah, someone else, and do that till I, till I finish. So that's where I'm at. I went to town earlier, finally got a parcel sent to somebody that I've been trying to send for weeks. There's just been issue after issue with that, but it's finally gone. I also got some donuts from Greg's. Got some sandwiches. Currently watching my YouTube playlist and catching up with those I've done all of my housework now so the only thing left on my like tidy slash house list for the day is to have a shower uh, this guy wants to sorry I've just had a message from someone Saturday morning yeah Saturday morning he wants, wants to have a call tomorrow afternoon or Saturday morning tomorrow afternoon I might be able to do we'll see at least I'm getting paid for it <laughs> Hello everybody, it is currently 5pm on Thursday the 28th of April. My camera's saying low battery so this might not last long, I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, I finished reading Once by James Herbert, it was a week 3.5, maybe even a 3 out of 5. Um, I, I'm just not into fairy tales and it was like an erotic, it was like an erotic thing as well. Um, which I don't really mind but it, it kind of implied that lesbianism was caused by the forces of evil and or rapists. So that was a bit odd. Um, but yeah, finished reading that anyway. I am back. I am now reading A Game for All the Family by Sophie Hanna. Um, it's okay so far although I've literally only just started it. And other than that I'm just being productive. Um, I got some new pots today for me to do some more planting outside, so I will be doing that as I'm going to get some chance. Setting up some email campaigns because I've got some things going out. Um, I've been doing some newsletter swaps with other authors to promote each other's books and that seems to be going well. I should mention as well, um, I've almost finished writing my short story for Regina's next anthology. It's not my best to be honest. What I'm probably going to do is submit it to her and say if I have time I'll, I'm going to write another one. If not, let's run with that. Um, and I've also been editing Lightfold book number four, which will be the third novel, because book number three, The Lightfold Files, coming out in June 1st. That is a short story collection. The other thing is, is one of my clients has asked me if I want to go and meet them in Paris. Um, and obviously I've been wanting to go to France for a while now to practice my French, and I haven't been abroad since before the pandemic as well. Um, and it turns out it's in June, and it would be over where my birthday is. So I might use that as an excuse to go to Paris, meet up with them a couple of times, go and do some exploring as well, practice my French, and overall have a lovely time. So I've been looking into booking that. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. My granddad said he's gonna give me some money for it as well, bless him. He doesn't need to, but he likes to spoil me, so, you know. And my mum says if he wants to, then take him up on it, so. But, um. Yeah, that's good because also I have a big tax bill coming, so I need to save up and pay for that. The other thing is, is um, obviously if I go there, I can actually claim it as a business expense because I'm going there to meet a client. So that's very cool. 
Oh, Biggie's here as well. Aren't you, Biggs? I'm here to say hello. Yes. Oh, I love you, camera. I love you. Hello. We just had a bit of an old shit moment because my camera wasn't working. Basically, the, the new vases that I got, that are very pretty, but they leak. And I didn't know this. Um, I'm not sure what good a vase that leaks is. I'm not really sure what to do about them. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, my camera was on the table next to the vase. And because the vase leaked, it got water all over my camera. And so my camera decided to stop working. I've let it dry out a bit, and now it seems to be okay. So who knows? It is currently 5 to 11 in, on the evening of Friday the 29th of April. I'm just being productive. I'm still reading a game for all the family by Sophie Hanna. It's quite good. Um, it's on course for like a strong 3.5 out of 5, I would say. Um, it is a thriller, and so it has the same problem that all thrillers have, which is that once you've read one, you've kind of read them all. But hey-ho. Um, I filmed a presentation for this client I have earlier. I basically had like... I don't know, 72 hours to create a presentation on marketing for fiction authors. But um, yeah, I've filmed it now, so I'm just kind of editing that together. I've been editing some of my own videos as well. I had a phone call earlier for uh, with an in interview with somebody called Kate. Oh, Kate Timpany, she's called, and she wrote Three Roads and Other Stories, which I read recently. Um, and so I've interviewed her, excuse me, to appear on my radio show. So that was good. And now I'm just cracking on and being productive. We might have tomorrow some people coming over in the morning to start work on the fence because the fence needs replacing after the storms we had. So that's very exciting because that's the last job now, especially now the bathroom's fixed. I just need to get the fence replaced and then paint the fence panels and then I've done all of my jobs that need doing for this place. Um, I do have a strimmer on its way to get the bits that I couldn't get with the lawn mower when I mowed the lawn the other day. But yeah, once the fence is here and I've painted it and I've strimmed and shit, I'm going to do an updated house tour because it will all be done essentially, which is nice timing because my mum and my granddad are visiting in May. Um, although they are going to bring a pressure washer with them to pressure wash the steps outside, but that's just like a little job. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Sunday, uh, there is a free music festival in town called Frog Fest. So I'm going to go to that because I have a few friends playing. Um, so me and Sabrina are going to go to that. We might do a bit in the garden because she's got a little bit of garden space in my garden. Um, but it depends what the weather's like because it's, it's, it's not forecast to be particularly nice. And then, um, yeah, we might play some board games as well. We'll see. Monday is a bank holiday here. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to Tamworth to go and stay at my mum's for a few days so that I can go to my granddad's funeral as he unfortunately passed away a few weeks ago. So that's where I'm at. Greetings. It is... Sunday the 30th of April at uh, about 20 past 3 in the afternoon. I finished the presentation I had to do for my clients so I finished doing that yesterday so that's good news. I'm about halfway through A Game for All the Family by Sophie Hannah. It's quite good. It's taken me a lot longer to read than I was expecting though. I also had a book I ordered arrive today so I've been ordering Alan Bennett because he has a lot of these like long collections that are just like page after page of his diaries. So Basically, the plan is to order a few Alan Bennett books. Some of them will be main reads, and then some of them will be bedtime reads. And the goal is basically when I get the bedtime reads, I need to queue up my next one because I'm about two thirds of the way through my current bedtime read and don't have another one lined up. So I've got this in the post today, A Life Like Other People's, and this turns out to just be part of Untold Stories, which is one that I've already read. So that one I can just mark as read because I've, I've read it. So, I don't know, I'm going to order two books now to make up for that, I think. Um, I've had a strimmer, a garden strimmer, delivered. So the parcel company is like, yes, delivered safely to the house. It's not here. It's not, they didn't deliver it to me, and it's, they didn't leave it outside my front door. So I need to check with the neighbours, see if they've got it. If not, I don't know where it is. So that's kind of annoying. Cause, so I'm hopefully seeing Sabrina tomorrow because we've got uh, Frog Fest, which is like a local music festival. Um, and we're going to potter out in the garden. And if I've got the strimmer, I can do some strimming while she's doing her little garden bit. So that, that would be very exciting. Um, but we'll see. There were supposed to be some people coming around this morning about my fences as well, but it would appear that they have not come. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, that's about it, really. That's all I got for you. I don't have major updates. Just going to keep on working today.
facts I was gone I ain't got many friends but we stay alone Cause they be getting gritty still Every time I make a slap movement I think I'm gonna fall to the ground That's embarrassing Where's the waiter? I'm keen to grab a drink Something to see my sorrow I've never been good with relationships Some say that I'm too argumentative I'm Yo, it's me. Um, it is currently half past five on, what day is it Biggie? Thursday, Thursday the 5th of May 2022. Um, I haven't updated you for a long time. Basically there was Frog Fest here in High Wycombe on the Sunday and then I was very hungover on the Monday. Tuesday I went back to my mum's house. I've been there for the last few days. It was my granddad's funeral on Wednesday. Um, saw all the family and stuff. It was very sad but a moving tribute to his life. Um, and it seems okay, it seems as though everybody coped alright, like all the sons and um, my grandma, bless you, is 91 and finds herself a widow after being married for 75 years. Um, but yeah, there was that and then I saw my granddad on my mum's side on Thursday, we had lunch. He's given me some money to uh, go towards my trip to Paris to go and see some clients as well. And uh, yeah, I headed back earlier, I'm just sort of settling in to... Um, being productive and stuff. Biggie hasn't really stopped me hourin. I've got a client call at 7 p.m. So I'm working up towards that and just trying to be productive and get some other stuff done, get all my unpacking done. I'm actually away again next week. Um, I'm going, as of Tuesday, I am going to the Forest of Dean because my mum's got a, um, she's booked a cabin out there because we do that quite often. Um, so that's next week. And then towards the end of May, my granddad and my mum are coming down to visit me. And then, as I say, in June, I'm going to Paris. Um, I've got enough money now to pay my tax bill, which has been a concern for a while too. Um, so I sold some of my shares and whatnot and got paid by some clients. So I can pay that off, but now I can't find my bank card with which to do it. So I've had to order a new bank card to be delivered. So I'll be able to pay that off once that arrives. Reading-wise, I finished reading A Game for All the Family by Sophie Hanna. That was a probably a four out of five. I enjoyed it. It was a good thriller. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading some more stuff by her. There will be a review of that coming soon. I've got so many reviews to edit. Um, I've got a lot of them filmed and just not edited, so I kind of need to get on that. Um, I'm now reading Mentats of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. J. Kevin J. Anderson, and I'm probably about three quarters of the way in. I'm on about page 400 of about 650. And it's actually really good so far. It's the penultimate of the June books that I have to read. There's only one more after this. And then there's Dreamer of June, which is a biography of Frank Herbert, but also includes like a, a novella that hasn't been published anywhere else. So I'm going to read that. I've got some other books on the way that haven't arrived yet as well, um, including the next Wizard of Oz book for my buddy Reed with Joel Swagman. Biggie, don't bite me. I'm trying to give you fuss. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm at. I mean, as you can tell, I'm just going to continue this vlog for another week. I don't actually have a huge amount to update you on, really. Again, it's just been busy, being productive. Not the best mental health time, um, but I think that's understandable, really, given, you know, my granddad's funeral and whatnot. So, yeah, been rough, but I'm surviving. I'm going to go and do some more filming now for you. Aren't we, Biggie? Oh, and there's a man outside who's supposed to be doing my fences, but I don't know if he actually is. I don't really know what he's doing. He's been bodding about here, here and there, and he's used my brush and done this and that. He has moved one of the fence panels, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see what he does. He's been using my water. Greetings, hello, it is me. I should probably turn the light on. I could do, I guess. Let's see if this makes any difference. 
not really very much. I got another light up there I could do, but we're just gonna we're just gonna do darkness. We're gonna choose darkness. It is five past nine on Friday the 6th of May. I've been hard at work today. A uh, man came over earlier and did the fences. So the fences are done, so that's good. Um, yeah, they're looking, they're looking pretty good. Um, so I need to paint those now. I'm also waiting for a bit of concrete to dry before I can push the rest of my stuff back against the wall. Um, but yeah, assuming they don't fall down, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, what else is... That's about it. Oh, I finished reading Mentats of June. That was a four out of five. Very good. Full review coming soon. Uh, and I'm now reading The Narrow Bed by Sophie Hanna as part of this job lot of Sophie Hanna books that I got. This is about a serial killer who kills two groups of two friends called, uh, they call him the Billy No Mates, no, the Billy Dead Mates Killer, because Billy No Mates is an expression in the UK for someone with no friends. Um, and it's okay so far. I got some Alan Bennett plays in the post earlier today that I'm looking forward to as well. I've been working my way through all of my little bits of housework. I made a stir fry earlier. That was good. To be honest, most of my houseworky bits now are stuff that I need to do in the garden. So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably work outside in the garden tomorrow if the weather's nice. And uh, take it from there. Oh, yeah, I've got a call in about an hour and 20 minutes to go through a social media thing with uh, one of my clients. So it's like a presentation I pulled together and we're just going to go through it via Zoom. So we'll see how that goes. Going to be a lot of talking, but, you know, it'd be good. And then I can tick it off. They did ask if I can do some, like, moderation on, on a thing on um, Sunday. But, no. Well, basically, I'm away next week on holiday with my mum in the Forest of Dean. Um, and I also have a huge backlog of stuff I need to do. Because this is the same client that I've kind of gone over my hours for, really. So... I need to focus on my other clients and get some work done so that people stop asking me where things are, you know? So that's kind of the plan. Um, and I'm going to crack on with that. Watch a bit of YouTube today as well. I think that's all I got for you. I'm going to go and do some editing and stuff. Yo! Oh, God, I'm shattered. It's um, 25 past 11 on Saturday, the 7th of May. Got this on my hand because I injured myself. I spent the day out in the garden. You can see from the paint, I've finished painting the new fence panels. So that's all good. Um, I might even remember to take you out and show you around tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I also like smashed up the old panels and created a pile of the wood and got some of it in my bin. Some of The rest of it's just behind the shed. I'll kind of trickle it out slowly but surely in the bin over the coming weeks. But yeah, pretty happy with how the garden looks now. The only thing that's left to do is like the weeding and stuff. Um, but for that, I'm going to order some gardening gloves, secateurs and weed killer. And I've got a new strimmer coming. Because I bought this one strimmer, but <laughs> it uses a plastic cable tie instead of like a metal blade. So it's not very good. So I need a more powerful one. So I've ordered that and given myself an upgrade. I made some um, jalapeno mac and cheese. Let me show you. Lovely. Google is reminding me that I have a reminder for Dane. Biggie's down there somewhere. I'm still reading The Narrow Bed by Sophie Hanna. It's all right. It's like a, probably a 3.5 out of 5. I don't know. I'm only halfway through, so we'll see whether it, whether it does end up getting that or not. But it's just okay. Um, crimey stuff. I think next I'm going to read Alan Bennett. I've got some Alan Bennett plays. I'm about three quarters of the way through my um, bedtime book now, which is a Richard Dawkins one, The Extended Phenotype. And I don't have my next bedtime book lined up, um, so I'm not sure. At some point, before I die, I quite want to read the major religious books of like the six major religions. So I might get the Bible, but then it's like which which edition and I'm not religious at all which is why I'm thinking about this because it will be a classic bedtime book um, but it would be nice to appreciate other religions and other people's beliefs just so that I'm in a better place to say that I don't agree with them <laughs> so I don't know we've got like the Bible the Quran um, I don't know the major religious text for the others the Torah um, isn't Buddhism like the Bodhisattva Vita or something like that? And then God knows what the others. What's Hinduism? And what am I missing? Sikhism. Hinduism and Sikhism. I don't know what their holy books are. 
But anyway, maybe I'll do that because basically I need to order my next bedtime book. Um, and obviously, I mean, I mean, I guess I could just not have one. But those are the only ones that off the top of my head I'm like, those are definitely going to be bedtime books. Unless I look for a letter collection, and a letter collection is almost always a bedtime book as well. So I don't know, we'll see. But that's where I'm at, I'm just doing a little bit of filming now. Um, that's, yeah. I'm trying to decide. Just having a little sync to myself, yeah. Sounds good. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Greetings! It is um, the 9th, Monday the 9th of May, uh, 10 to 9 in the morning, hence me looking radiant. Um, some people shouted, I went to the um, Rose, no, the Bellevue Sunday Jam yesterday and played a few songs with Dave, so that was nice. I had a few pints, I had like three, I think, three or four. Um, left early ish because I'm heading away today, so I needed to, you know, be pr uh, pr uh, productive. And then as I was walking home, some dickhead shouted at me from a car. So the first thing they shouted was, cut your hair. Then they looped back round again and shouted, faggot, that was it. And then they looped back round again. The third time I didn't really hear what they said because a bunch of them shouted different things at the same time. But I think one of them said, kill yourself. Which was lovely because I was walking past the spot at which my friend actually killed himself. Um, so yeah, bit of toxic masculinity going on there, and so I was a bit upset by that, um, so I just went to bed. I was tired anyway, I'd been tired all day yesterday. So I went to bed about 8am, woke up about 7 this morning, and I've just been, been productive since then, so I'm getting my bits and bobs packed. Biggie! Uh, ready to go to the Forest of Dean to see my mum later. I'm just finishing up on the narrow bed by Sophie Hannah now, I have like 80 pages left. So... I'll finish that probably on my travel, to be honest. And then I think I'm going to read Christine by Stephen King. Uh, tradition, when I go away, I read my, my longest unread book. And I have that. And then one of his short story collections, Skeleton Key, I think. Or Crew? Skeleton Crew. So I have those. And then some Alan Bennett plays. So that's what I'm taking away with me. Um, as I said, it's Monday now. I'm going to head there today and come back on Friday. My friend Dave is going to be checking in on Biggie while I'm away. I'll have my camera set up as well. I think Sabrina's going to come around on Thursday because she's going to water the plants and spend some time with Biggie, hopefully. So before I leave, I need to go to the shop to get some lunch anyway, but I'll get a spare key cut while I'm there for Sabrina. And that's about it. Um, and I'm going to love you and leave you at this point. So next, next week's vlog is going to be a Forest of Dean vlog. So that should be nice. going to go to Puzzlewood and stuff. I might even do a shorter vlog that just covers the time that I'm there and then pick up on Friday with a new vlog when I get back um, and go from there. So we will see. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.